I injured my hip whilst I was pack marching with my platoon and um, it just deteriorated from there. It was quite a long-term injury. It got to the point where it was affecting my sleep. I couldn't actually sleep correctly. And I decided that um, I would like to go through with some elective surgery to see whether we could fix the chronic pain that I was experiencing. One of the things that I found was a benefit for going with Dr Burns and a private hospital was that I had the option to elect when I had my surgery. I found that it was very easy, the staff were very friendly, and I was looked after from when I walked in the door to when I was put into surgery. The overall level of care that I received with a private hospital was excellent. I would recommend a private hospital to anybody. The facilities in this hospital are absolutely outstanding. The wards, the equipment that we have, the catering in the hospital is fantastic. It's just a really nice place to work and the feedback from patients is that it's a really nice place to have an operation and to get over an operation. Private hospitals often have access to technology earlier than the public hospital does and particularly in the surgery that I do, it's very much based upon the standard of the equipment you have as to how well the surgery goes. So after my surgery, uh, Dr Burns had me active the next day, working on my um, functional fitness. So I was actually on an exercise bicycle the next day. I commenced my rehabilitation maybe four weeks after my surgery, after everything had settled down. And I had actually competed in CrossFit maybe four months after my surgery. Renee's done really well, and that is partially the fact that the surgery is minimally invasive, but also She's a military person and they generally are taught to push themselves really hard and so I think that helps in terms of the rehabilitation. I maintain my private health insurance so that I have the option to use a private hospital because I was so impressed with my care.